What's going on everybody, Almost Evil 33 here, and today I have another Medal of Honor 2010 gameplay commentary for you guys, and I'm playing some Sector Control on Kabul City Ruins today, rolling with the Rifleman class and the M16A4 Assault Rifle. And it's kind of weird that I'm playing number one, Kabul City Ruins, and number two, Sector Control, in order to get a cruise missile. Usually I'm stuck with Team Assault on Garmzir Town or something like that. And this is just a nice little fresh gameplay. It's pretty old, so I guess fresh wouldn't really be the right term to describe it. But it's old because, obviously, I have been more than absent over the past month or two. And this is going to be a two-part Real Talk commentary. The first part is going to be about where I've been, what I've been up to, what is going on. And the second part is just going to be about where I'm going to go in the future, what exactly will be going on, and I think you guys will be excited to hear the whole thing, so let's get right into it. So enjoy the cruise missile gameplay in the background, by the way. Alright, so, part one, where have I been? I have just basically been gone for two reasons, and I've been gone for a month and a half, two months, I really don't know, the days just seem to flow into each other, but basically, two things caused me to have to leave YouTube or take a long hiatus from making videos. The first one is what has been just a huge, huge burden on me since September of this year, and that's school. And school has been ridiculous. I mean, my classes have given me so much more work than I could have ever imagined. Senior year really hit me like a truck, that's all I have to say. But I really am enjoying it. I'm balancing time as best as I can. And I'm going to be hopefully starting to just slow down a little bit in the workload. And I'm going to be, like I said, making as many videos as I can. But that's going to come later on in the video. We'll talk about that. But yeah, that's the first thing. Balancing all of that schoolwork with my social life and all my other hobbies and other commitments that I have is pretty difficult sometimes. So that's pretty much covers the first part of where I've been and at the same time I just have kind of I I had I should say not have I had kind of lost interest in gaming altogether I wasn't interested in making videos I wasn't interested in even picking up an Xbox controller there was about a month or maybe just a little bit less than a month where I didn't even pick up an Xbox controller didn't want to and if I did I'd get bored really quick and I would just kind of stop playing. I just didn't have any enthusiasm to game. And that happens sometimes. And I'm not going to force myself to do anything. But recently, I don't know why, I found the spark again. And I'm just ready to pick up the controller and play some more video games, post some more videos. So, those two things, the fact that I just completely lost interest in gaming and making videos for a little while. And the amount of work that I've had to balance out with my social life and other things have kind of made... A, making videos a huge issue for me but but now we're gonna get into part two which is the more optimistic part I'm gonna talk about what's gonna be going on in the future now and basically I consider the fact that I had made maybe one video every like two weeks for a while like that that little section of my YouTube career I consider that to just be my absence I might as well have not been making anything so those times are over and the time of not making any videos at all is over I'm gonna get right back into the swing of things I can't really say exactly how many videos I'll be able to put out over a certain period of time um, I would say you can't really I don't want to just say oh you can expect two videos a week or you know at least one video a week I don't know at this point but what I can tell you is that there won't be any two month gaps and I'll make as much as I possibly can while enjoying myself and that's been my goal all along and I really appreciate you guys who have stuck with me there has been a bunch of people asking me where I've been, what I've been up to, really just asking me to make more videos because they love my videos. I love that. I mean, that means so much to me. It really does. You guys have no idea. And those are the people that really made me get that spark to make videos back again. And I really appreciate all of your kind words and your just, just your thoughts as to where, where I've been and your care about my videos and my content. I really do appreciate that. But I just wanted to just kind of have a quick update video for you guys. 
Um, I did buy Battlefield 4 for the Xbox 360. It is in my possession. I have a little bit of gameplay recorded already, so you'll be seeing that very soon with a commentary attached to it. The, actually, the last thing that I had recorded before that was some beta gameplay, believe it or not. And I had planned to make a list of grievances video for the beta, but that obviously didn't happen. But I have a lot of Battlefield 4 content that will be coming out for you guys. Live commentaries, maybe a series or two, and just some regular commentaries and stuff. A lot is coming. I'm really loving Battlefield 4 so far, but you guys will learn more in my next video because that's going to be my first impressions of Battlefield 4. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you're happy to see me, please leave me a thumbs up on this video if you're happy to see me back again in your subscription box if it's even working. And if you unsubscribed or, you know, haven't really considered subscribing because I haven't been posting, you can come on back. I'm going to be making videos, so hopefully you guys will just come on back, get my fan base rolling again, and hopefully you guys will uh, show me a lot of support so we can keep moving forward. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.